Hey guys, this is Pokemon Storm Silver, video number 6. Um, in the last video we went down this route here, which is uh, Route 32. And uh, yeah, we battled all the trainers except this guy. I, I, for whatever reason I passed this guy up. So I'm going to battle him now. This is Fisherman something. And uh, he starts off with the Goldeen, which falls to Dragon Rage. So off to a good start. And Vesuvius grows to level 18. That's even better. Ralph, okay, that's his name. Ralph. And now he has a quillfish, so hopefully this thing also has less than 40 HP. Because then he will just fall to Dragon Rage as well. Oh, look. 41. And of course he poisons me. Great. Why do I always get poisoned? Yeah, you tried to rush things, I guess. No, you're not gonna give me free stuff. I bet you don't give them free stuff either. Alright, so the screen's going all weird because Charmeleon is poisoned. So I need to take Charmeleon and heal Charmeleon back at the Pokemon Center. I don't know why I'm saying Charmeleon and not Vesuvius. Okay, so here's Union Cave. Oh. I used the repel to, uh, you know, repel. Pick up that item, and now here's this guy. First trainer in the cave. Fire Breather Ray, and he has a Vulpix. So let's see, hopefully we can just Dragon Rage this little thing, and yeah we can. Flash! TM39 Rock Tomb, there's like two items you can pick up down here. And Repel's effect wore off, great, so now I'm probably going to run into like all kinds of Pokemon now. You know those little Repels, they don't last very long. Here's a sand shrew, level 13. Just get away from that. I can't wait till I can buy repels. There's a geodude, level 14. I think we can run away from this one too. Well, I mean, you know, be surprised. Hiker Daniel sends out an Onyx, level 16. Go Vesuvius! Alright, so I'm going to use Dragon Rage on this here Onyx. Hopefully, maybe he has low HP, and he does, so that's cool. Vesuvius gains all kinds of experience and grows to level 19. Yeah, special attack. It's a little bit higher than his attack. Oh, that was it for Hiker Daniel. Okay, I was, like getting ready to say, okay, what's next? Alright, let's see what this guy has. Alright, Russell has two Pokemon, a Geodude. Nice. Knocking out the Geodude with the Metal Claw, representing with the Metal Claw. Now he's going to send in a Nose Pass. Who the hell has a Nose Pass? This guy, I guess. Vesuvius uses Dragon Rage. Nose Pass must have less than 40 HP because he takes him out. And now Vesuvius is at level 20 and we defeat Hacker Russell. Alright, time to put someone else up front now that uh, Vesuvius is way up there with the levels. Put Mick up front.
Not sure why I actually battled that wild sand shrew, but yeah. Let's see, here is a item. It's a potion. I remember like back when I first started playing this game, like way back in the day, not this game, but like Pokemon in general, like Pokemon Red and Blue. Every time I saw a Pokeball like laying there on the ground, I thought it was a Pokeball. Or I thought it should be a Pokeball. I'm like, why is this a potion? It should be a Pokeball. But no, it was usually like a potion. Or I think there was like one Pokeball in Viridian Forest or something like that. And then, you know, then like you'd find that one great ball, like one or two great balls, ultra balls. You know, I, I look at the way back then, the way I used to play these games, and that was stupid. I would just buy Pokeballs. I wouldn't like buy anything else, like, like, uh, potions or antidotes or full heals or anything like that. I just spent all my money on, on Pokeballs. Anyway, we defeat this guy. My phone keeps ringing, and I don't recognize these numbers. That's like the second time in this video that my phone has rang with a number I don't recognize. Anyway, here's Fire Breather Bill, and he sends in a coughing. So I'll send in Mick, and hopefully he can knock this out with two water guns, I would think. I don't know if I'm going to teach him Water Pulse. I know I got that Water Pulse TM in the last video. I'll have to look up and see if he actually learns Water Pulse. Alright, but now he's at level 20. So, uh, Fire Breather Bill is about to send in Magby. Magby uses Smoke Screen to lower my accuracy. And uh, apparently it worked, because Water Gun missed. So, you know, I guess good on you, Magby. Make used water gun, super effective. Now he's gonna send in Charmander. And hopefully I can knock this thing out. Again, with the attack missing. Alright, there's the great ball. Here's a wild Makakita that we're going to run away from, and there's nothing down here. I always go down there. I don't know why I always go down there. I should know by now that there's nothing down there. The item is right here. It's an awakening. Now I find an awakening after that freaking Sprout Tower, what was that, like three videos ago where I, they kept putting me to sleep. And I was like, man, I wish I could buy an awakening at the Pokemart. And I couldn't. And I just had to like be asleep the whole time. Now I find an awakening. After like, I'm about to the place where I can buy them. Because I'm pretty sure you can buy them here at the Azalea Pokemon Mart. I don't know. Let's see, here's this guy. I remember back when I used to play Gold and Silver. I would always lose to this guy. I don't know why, but he I, I always lost to him. I would try my best to avoid him. Like to go around him or whatever. Because I always lost to him. Anyway, we knocked out his Geodude, and now he's going to send in Machop. So, I will uh, bring Mick back and send in Spike, because Spike is now uh, the lowest level member of my party. So, he'll use Thundershock on this here, Machop. Machop Foresights and uh, identifies Spike, so now he knows uh, that Spike is there. And Spike uses Thundershock, and that will kill the Machop, so good job, Spike. 
Whoa, you've got more zip. Yeah. No. I don't, I don't think you mean by information. I'm not sure you mean free stuff. So I don't think so, uh, Anthony, sir. Oh, what's going on here? Team Rocket. Thud. Well, that's not nice. Nothing is going on. It's unsafe to go in there. So I'm standing guard to make sure people don't wander in. Am I not a good Samaritan? No, you're really not a good Samaritan at all. Yeah, dude. They're being sold on the other side of the cave by some moron with for like a million dollars. He like tried to get me to buy one and I told him no and he told me to shoo and scram. Yeah, he'll take care of it. It's not like he'll, you know, fall down the well and hurt his back or anything. All the slowpokes have disappeared from the town. So Was that, like, M just randomly capitalized in the middle of that word? I think it was. Be careful not to, like... Or I don't know if it'll actually happen this early in the game. But uh, if you... Usually when you try to leave Azalea Town... Uh, through the west, your rifle will come out and like want to fight you. But I don't know if they, he actually does that like before you do the slowpoke well and take on the gym and stuff. Because I've never actually tried that. You know what? I don't have a gibble. But if I had one, I would trade you for a Beldum because that actually sounds like a pretty good Pokemon to have for my team. Um, I've never used a Beldum. I think I'm going to do that, actually. I think I'm going to go back to Union Cave and catch a Gibble. Yeah, I'll take a quiz. Question one. No. Oh. Okay. Yeah. Question one. Yes, apparently. Oh! Alright. Yes. What? <sighs> okay. So, so far it's yes, no. Alright. Yes. Correct. No. Correct. Yes. Alright, well, I, apparently I don't know anything. Uh, yes. No. No. No, it can't have higher than Alakazam. What? It does? Okay. Alright. Yes. No. No. Yes. He's sweet. So apparently it's yes, no, no, yes. Or something like that. Now I can pick a prize Pokemon. And it's one of the Hoenn Pokemon. So, uh... Yeah, just pick whichever one of the Hoenn Pokemon you want. I picked a Trico. I'm not going to use it, so I'm not going to give it a nickname. But, uh... You know. Hey, it's a Trico. So uh, what I'm going to do here is I'm going to heal my Pokemon, and then I actually am going to go back to Union Cave and uh, catch a Gibble, because you can actually find them over there in the uh, in the basement. So in that little basement where you found those two items where you go down the staircase. Oh yeah, first I'm going to buy some items here. Welcome, what do you need? Uh, let's see, I know what I want. I want Repels. I can finally buy them now. I have... I have... Yeah, I'm going to buy some repels. I don't have any. Alright, please come again. Thank you. Okay, back in the cave where it's nice and dry. 
Alright, time to bust out the rappel. Okay. On the search for a gibble. Now you can find the gibble here on the main floor if you're playing like the, p the pastoral sounds or the meridian sounds from the GB sounds or whatever. But I'm not really sure how that works. So, uh... I'm gonna go down to the uh, basement down here because you can actually catch them. They're, there's like they appear like five percent of the time or something. Um, it, it's in the the description there where they appear, how they appear. So just yeah, check that out. I guess if you don't believe me. All right, so repels effect wears off. So now I'm like ready. Uh, the first Pokemon we run into is an Onix. Jolteon can't do anything against that, so I'll uh, go away. Um, I edited out a bunch of stuff because it actually took me about 10 minutes to find one. But I figured I better show this. Togepi hatched from the egg. Woohoo! See, that's how long I was down here searching for Gibble. Usually Togepi doesn't hatch until, like, you you get past Azalea Town. But because I was down here for so long searching for this thing, Togepi hatched. So, yeah, I edited out a bunch of, like, wild Pokemon encounters before I finally found this Gibble. Uh... Something else to mention is you can also find Bagon down here. So if you want to use one of those, um, you know, go for it. Gibble uses Dragon Rage, which <laughs> uh, does some pretty decent damage to Jolteon. So I'm going to send in Mick now. I don't want him using a uh, Water Gun. Let's see. What will Mick do? Okay, that didn't work. Pokemon broke free. Gibble uses Dragon Rage. Dang, one more Dragon Rage will like kill me. All right. Um, let's see. I think I could use Rage, and that won't knock him out. But that'll get him into the red. <clears throat> He'll use Dragon Rage, and that'll knock me out. Uh, yeah. Send in Togepi for fun. I'm never going to send in Togepi again. I'll use the Great Ball. Hopefully that'll kill him. Or not kill him, but catch him. Oh, shoot. It was so close, too. Okay. Ooh, oh. God, I'm glad he didn't knock himself out. Alright, Trico. Again. I'm not going to use you for battle, so while I have you, I might as well send you out. Uh... I'll use the Great Ball. Hopefully this time it'll catch, because that's my last Great Ball. And it does! Gotcha! Gibble was caught! It nests in horizontal holes, warmed by geothermal heat. Okay, I couldn't read the rest of it. No. Because I'm just going to trade him away. Alright, but we uh, did what we came here to do, so now I'm going to save the game before the game decides to freeze on me and I lose all of that. So, uh, let's see, before I take any more steps, it might be a good idea to use a repel. Alright, we're back out here on Route 33, headed back to the Azalea Town Pokemon Center. Where, uh... I think that's where that guy was, here in the Pokemon Center, right? Oh, just in time, Repels the Fight wore off. So... You say you want a Gibble? Yes, I do. Yes, I do. No, I didn't want to trade because I noticed that Gibble was holding something. He's holding a Havenberry. So I want to take that from him before I uh, <clears throat> do the trade. Yes, I do. This is Gibble. Alright, Gibble. It's been real. It's been fun, but I guess, you know, it hasn't been real fun. Because we didn't do anything. I just, like, almost knocked you out and then caught you and now you're going to this guy. He's sending over his Beldum. I'm excited. I've never used a Beldum before. 
So, oh, Robotnik. He even has an interesting-ish nickname. No, you got yourself a Gibble. I got myself a Beldum. Oh. The Covenant Orb. What does that do? Covenant Orb. My Pokemon yawned very loudly. I don't even know. Yeah, I guess I'll rest my Pokemon. You know what? I don't think the Covenant Orb is actually a real item. I think it's one that uh, Drayano made up for this game. So... Maybe... Yeah, I don't know. I'll see y'all next time. We'll take on the gym leader. No, we won't.